Well guys, uh, today's video is going to be about the lipos. We're going to see if we can um, fix this lipo. As you can see, it's uh, pretty puffed up compared to the, uh, the other one. Um, now this lipo battery has lost its charge. Uh, last time I checked it, it was around 5 volts or 4.9 volts. So uh, we'll just give that a quick check with the multimeter here and see what uh, voltage we're running, just so I can show you what's happening. <coughs> Okay, we got 4.99 volts. Uh, obviously, this is well below the voltage that it is supposed to be, so uh, it will not charge when I plug it in. So I'll just show you that as well. With this charger. So we'll zoom in so you can see what's being said on there. Um, low voltage. So this is the warning we're getting when we try and charge up. So we're going to see if we can um, fix this battery by charging it incorrectly. Obviously, I have to say a disclaimer here do not try this at home. Um, I'm a professional idiot, so I will take all the precautions I can and take the blame if it goes wrong. Um, so, what we're going to do is change our settings from LiPo. Oh, lost the power, pulled the plug out. We're going to change it from LiPo to NIMH. Quick charge and we will charge it this way sorry I didn't realize you weren't focused uh, NIMH uh, uh, I think it's a nickel metal hydride something like that uh, we will force charge it up to uh, a couple more volts and then uh, try and take it off and put it onto lipo charge and see if the lipo uh, will actually work I've never done this before, so it's going to be a first time. I've seen people do it on YouTube before, so I thought, well, got a dead battery pack, let's try. Uh, what's the worst that can happen apart from an explosion? <laughs> so, we either might get success, or you might get to see uh, a cool explosion. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're outside now. I've uh, got the LiPo on a concrete base. Uh, charger is also on there go into an extension cable which runs into the shed um, uh, going to see if this works now by putting it onto NIMH uh, charge it up and it should show me the voltage on there as it's charging once I get up to a couple more volts than what it is which is 4.9 say when we get up to uh, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what we get up to and then I'll try and flip it over onto lipo charge and see if it works. So, uh, as a precaution we've got the, the water, if anything does go happen, uh, happen I will pull out the uh, uh, power cable and then uh, see if I can disconnect it. I've also got a grabber, uh, so I can grab at it and if I need to grab anything and pull anything which may be hot or on fire. So uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so after that first initial charge, um, at 0.5 amps, um, let's see what we got the voltage up to. 6.6 .6 volts, or 6.60 if you want to do it that way. I'll just lift up to the camera if I can. 6.6 volts, it's going down slightly. Uh, so from 4.9 volts up to 6 volts, battery pack is still, just get it focused, it's still puffy, uh, it's not hot. I wouldn't even say it was really warm actually now. Um, 
it did get a little bit warm when I was outside, just on, on one side, but I think that's because it's very sunny outside. Uh, so we shall uh, continue to see if we can up the voltage on this and uh, see if we can save this lipo pack. Okay, 6.6 .6 volts it's showing, 6.8, 6.9, up to 7 volts, 7.4, 7.55, and it's dropping back down again, 7.33. Camera's overheated, unfortunately. Uh, we're up to 8.21 volts. No heat in the pack. This is originally a puffy pack, as you can see, it's already puffed up, so it was already like that. Uh, we're up to 8, 8.14 volts, 8.20 volts. It goes up and down. This is charging by the NIMH mode at 0.5 amps. Currently been on for a minute and fifty seconds. So I'm actually quite nervous uh, at the moment. As I say, this is the first time I've ever done it before. It is advised not to do it. No heat, no pressure. Up to 8.38 volts, 2 minutes 20 mark. Actually feels okay, 9 volts. That's the first time we've hit 9 volts, that's at the 3 minute 34 mark. So technically this battery should be able to uh, charge now on the light bulb setting. Uh, you do want to take it up further though apparently down just the 9 volts because it, the voltage is dropping uh, as soon as you take it off so we'll just let it take its voltage up to 9 something volts swap over to lipo mode and see if uh, it will charge in lipo mode we're at 9.6 volts actually 9.06 volts sorry which is Almost 9.1 volt now. Four minute mark. I'm going to stop it here. Battery feels okay. Swap back to LiPo. See if it will work. Yep. Confirm. Now charging at 2 amps on normal LiPo mode, 9 point something volts, 9.36. So there we go, we've managed to restore the LiPo back up to its original voltage. Uh, and it uh, seems to be fine. I'm going to let it carry on charging outside here. <coughs> Temperatures feel fine on everything. Up to 9.57 volts. So it looks like success. We've managed to uh, restore this battery from 4.9 volts all the way up to 9 volts and switch straight over to LiPo mode on the charger and uh, it started to work. So that's saved uh, uh, quite a few pounds. Uh, I'm not sure what this battery pack is worth, it's probably brand new around, I don't know, 30, 40 quid. So, it saved me getting them. But remember guys, to do this at your own risk. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done it, and obviously took precautions as you can see. Um, and that's it, I hope this has uh, been somewhat entertaining. Now I've saved my batteries.